Uh, who else has got something you don't know, Nave? As you know, that there are a lot of functions around this time of year, and uh, I heard that this function was very well promoted. Uh, there was three superstars of our game, <coughs> current day superstars. Ooh, oh and uh, have a listen to these names. You've got Jared Ruffhead. Scott Pendlebury, the Collingwood oh, captain, right. and Nick Rewalt oh, there's wow. some names. as a panel, who were paid quite handsomely, I believe. Hang on, hand, hand, what's handsome these days for a couple of people? What would you think? Five? Oh, I've got no, no not, idea, Doug. That's not but it was, uh, Multiple it was, gorillas. It was um, very well remunerated, but the only thing Where was it, was, Where it was, was it was at a, a venue that Luke Darcy Owns. How many can it hold there? It can hold 280 So it would have been expecting the max house. 280 people. You charge about 20 bucks a head. You get your 15K back. Then you get the drinks on top of that. And the food. You probably make about 30K out of the day, I would have thought, for Das. The only issue is... It's gone into the account, too, for the ATO, if they're listening. The only issue was, Brian, that... There was only six people there. Oh, oh, no. gee, and yeah. these three we were three of them. Up. Six? <laughs> six people. Six? No. And the three really? stars were three of them. <laughs> yeah. well, it was a, scheduled for a 6 p.m. start. No. So we'd think the, you know, off the train station there at Richmond, the afterwork crowd would just filter in. And at 6.20, we were still sitting there just... <laughs> Just waiting for uh, for the event to kick off. We had four people in the uh, no in the second way. row at that stage. Tell me this: Did you um, use the microphones? Oh, we didn't need <laughs> no. we didn't need the microphones. We didn't have to uh, project too far out into the crowd. It uh, probably swelled at capacity to about twenty people. But G- uh, let me get Jared Roughhead. Yep, four time Premiership superstar, captain of Hawthorne. Four of Scott yep. Pendlebury, Premiership captain, a superstar, and captain of Collingwood, and yourself, the greatest ever saint. And you had three people there when you turned up. We've actually got some photographic evidence here too. So this was taken at about 6.30, 30 minutes after the uh, <laughs> the scheduled start time. And there, uh, there are four people. Oh, I don't no. think they were football fans. They just thought that a show was about to start. <laughs> and, uh, so where's the blame lie here? Is it with the players, the stars, or is it with the well, I think the it's host? the uh, pr- pr- proprietor of the, uh, of the venue. Lack of marketing, yeah, or straight oh, back. Absolutely, yeah. No, it was uh, it was it was embarrassing, All disappointing right. to say the least. All but right, like uh, we but still got paid. I'm about to say, once the money goes in, you can forget exactly. that disappointment pretty quickly. And I'm not sure that I can stand next to the duck for too much longer. I just looked over at him. He's looking at his own phone of a photo with his top off, <laughs> no. holding a fish you know while he's flexing I his arms. Sho- I don't know where I, you're at. I the was moment. showing you the fish. <laughs> the small meant fish. Be, you weren't meant to be looking at my yeah. body. I don't think anyone sees jeans the fish on, full length jeans on, top off, top off. What involvement did the fish have? Yeah. Well, I was fishing. <laughs> Duck? Wow. Yes, okay. Yeah, well, EJ Witten. Oh, well done. Uh, EJ Witten game uh, last <laughs> Friday night. That's a strange uh, voice there. BT. Why are you, why are you, just, why are you uh, flexing? I was, I, was eating a, uh, I was eating a lolly. Um, yeah, last Friday night, the EJ Witten game. Mm. Obviously, uh, very uh, very good charity. They raised over 500000 by the way. You boys called it. Uh, Everyone brilliant. seemed to have great fun, didn't Everyone they? had great fun. Uh, but at the after party, oh, nice. there was... Uh, oh, which, uh, this is where know, we haven't been. You can always get a little bit... Uh, and I... <laughs> Just sort of went there and you know well behaved and just had a couple of uh, quiet oh. ales. But apparently there was a, a fairly uh, large altercation there later in the night. I'd oh, left what involving uh... I'd left uh, well involving a patron. Not sure whether that particular patron went to the game or not, or he was just in the bar and ended up up where the players were large with whom mingling large sort of and uh, he was a well apparently he was a biggish guy, but uh, he sort of got involved with a couple of other sort of biggish guys that uh, played in the game. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, oh, wow. So a couple now, of uh, players. Damien and, Barrett uh, style with Lepper. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, he decided he wanted, this particular patron wanted to Without the biggish. have a discussion <laughs> with one of them. And another one of the uh, very high profile biggish guys sort of stepped oh. in between and was able to stop what was could have got ugly. How big were the could have got ugly? Were the two big boys? The two, the, the, well, the two big boys were big, but apparently the guy that uh, was you bigger know, was a big boy as well. Mm. But uh, they got in between, and then the security came, did a very very good job, and uh, cleaned Has things he up. Has he ever been a teammate of Lippers? Uh, cleaned things up, and uh, Ooh, it was good all, question, Bernie. It was all taken <laughs> care of. Rui, mm. uh, as you probably know, we've known each other for a fair while. I'm a lover, not a fighter. All right. Uh, I do my best work uh, without the fists in the air. But if I'm thinking about going down that path, I wouldn't do it at the after party of the All Stars game <laughs> no. when you're surrounded by blokes who are 15 foot and have played and been in the strong room for 20 years. You certainly got to pick your battles, Beto. I know you were big on the. Uh, it was a pretty loose term, legend. Yeah. 
game, wasn't it? There weren't it? many of them. Oh. But, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, were. no, there, there were. There were, there there were, were good yeah. amounts there of legends. There were some real legends. Yeah. But there were, but, uh, what are you getting at, really? Oh, no, just... No. You think a couple drifted well, in that well, don't well, yeah, well, no. So well, we we Luffy became a legend so given, in the Legends game. So given, given that, then we expect you, you to need the next up part of it. On Triple M, we then go to the next line. Really. Oh, I'm, just, I'm, 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 I'm finding my feet. I'm oh. finding my feet. No, no, and no, I think, no I think as I, uh, as I develop a little bit more confidence, I'll be able to fire a few more I'm told the big man in your story, Duck, might have been belonged to a club also, not necessarily of football. Oh, really? I, I also think Brownie's question was that he had a teammate of Justin Leffich's in yes, a former life. It was a good, life, good, good, was a question. good question, and, well, I, and I don't know the question. answer. Don't I, you and, clearly do, because you're telling the story. Neither do I. I just, uh, like I said, many things sort of, uh, we get told many things. All right, what else we got? Not sure. What about the serious pills? Who had the serious, who, there's always someone that took it too seriously. Richie Vandenberg, uh, he didn't I, even I, play. I, no, no, I've got one for you. It's just come to me. Phil material. <laughs> there is a <laughs> very, very upset person uh, out of a Legends game. There is a guy... <laughs> that you talk about who took it seriously. This guy was was absolutely shattered at the completion of the game that he hadn't <laughs> been awarded the EJ Witten medal for best player on the ground. Did he kick a lot of goals? This he kicked seven. Oh, no. Seven. Oh. And uh, he was mortified. Uh, <laughs> and if he'd known how the votes were actually cast, JB, by that guy uh, tapping us on the shoulder halfway yes, through the last quarter, it seemed, seemed to come out of the crowd. And that seemed to be the uh, voting uh, situation. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Um, he, he was never going to get it. No, him. he wasn't getting them. Never get them. I, I tell you what only was the big names. I tell you what was funny at the uh, after party is you you sort of got around and all, all most of the players got back there. You had uh, Big John O'Brown, and then you had uh, Danny Southern. And I had a chat to both of them at one point, and I'm speaking to Danny, and Danny's going to me. Oh, geez, what about Brownie? Didn't he uh, take it serious? And so he's a potty. And then you get over and you have a chat to Brownie, and Brownie's going, what about uh, Danny Southern? No. <laughs> I reckon he took it a little bit too serious. So it's amazing how the players sort of had a different perspective on who was actually having a go and who As wasn't. we get to the break, and, and there's no question this man is a legend and deserved his spot in the game, but uh, Sam Fisher, as disappointing as anyone for me, Rui, <laughs> he, he avoided the pill at all costs. <laughs> Uh, Just out of the uh, game, I reckon yes. he was focusing much more on what was going to happen. There was what one, was going to happen after There yeah. was one worse. Dust. Yeah, oh, well, no, there's and, no uh, question. Of just that. a future prediction. Watch out for future father and sons in the EJ Witten game. Oh, nice. I like that.